Welcome back to Kids Online. This is the last week of our spiritual gifts theme. I hope you guys have loved it. Have you guys discovered yet maybe some of the gifts that God has given you? Amazing. Well, we're going to get stuck in today. I hope you guys have had a great week. We're going to dig into more of what God says about me and you and everything about his spiritual giftings for our lives. So before we get into that, let's head into worship together. So why don't you jump up on your feet, do a little warm up and let's go. to round up our series all about the special gifts that the Holy Spirit gives to me and to you. And maybe you have already learned about some gifts over the previous week that you're like, I think the Holy Spirit has given me that gift. Well, that is awesome. We're going to look at the last few gifts that it talks about in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And we're going to look at verse 10. Are you ready? You may want to grab your Bibles. You may want to sit down and get ready because this is going to be awesome. Okay, 
It says this in verse 10, it says, the Holy Spirit gives to another person the power to do miracles, to another the ability to prophesy, and he gives to another the ability to know the difference between good and evil spirits. It says the Spirit gives one person the ability to speak in different kinds of languages and the ability to interpret those languages. And that's verse 11. And there is telling us all about those last few gifts that it lists. So we learned about miracles and we learned about faith last week. So miracles is where God gives you an ability to see miracles, to pray for miracles and to see miracles come to pass. Like many of the miracles that we learned about over the summer from the Bible. It says that we might have the gift of prophecy and that is a big word and maybe you've not heard that before. And the word prophecy means that God gives you knowledge and he gives you ideas to see into the future and to understand what God is doing. Maybe he will tell you something about a friend. Maybe he'll tell you something about you and he, he says, to you what you're going to do when you grow up or somebody that you know or maybe somebody maybe give you a prophecy and they may tell you something that God has told them for your life and the last one which may seem very new to some of us on here on Kids Online is that when we speak in tongues it's a language that God gives us and maybe this morning in your life groups maybe at home you maybe want to pray that the Holy Spirit helps you to speak in that heavenly language and the cool thing about that language that can't be learned at school and it can't be learned from anybody but the Holy Spirit is that it's a special language that only God can understand. How cool is that? It's like a Morse code, a secret code between you and God and no one else, not even the enemy can understand. Now, if you have any of these gifts this, that you've heard over the past month that you think sounds like what God has given you, then I want to encourage you to pray into them, to thank God for them and to talk to a leader or a parent or a grown up who's sitting around you and ask them to help explain it to you. But there is nothing better than going back to the Word of God in 1 Corinthians 12 and reading it for yourself. And I just want to pray over you this morning that you would know that God is with you and that you would be able to use these giftings. Because it says, doesn't it, we learn, it says in this book of the Bible, it says that these are given to us to build up our faith and to build up others who believe in God also around us that these giftings are used for the whole church. So point to somebody around you and say they're for you and they're for you and they're for you because that is what God is like. God always thinks of others and he always thinks how can he use you to help somebody else but how can he speak through you as well. So we're going to jump into a time of prayer together. So God, I thank you for our spiritual gifts. God, I thank you that you thought ahead of time of us, Lord, that you know everything about us, every detail, every hair on our head. And God, I just ask that as we understand our spiritual gifts that you have given us, that we would be able to outwork them and use them in our lives, at school, with our friends. God, I pray that as we go into life groups, as we chat with our adults or grown-ups today, Lord, that you would help us to work in those giftings. In Jesus' name, and everyone said, Amen. Good job, guys. Okay guys, what a great week it has been. I hope you have enjoyed our month all about spiritual gifts. Now next time you see a present at your birthday or at Christmas, I think it's gonna remind you of what God has done in you and me. And don't forget this week, if you have got a Bible at home, this is amazing. And it says in the Bible that the Bible is alive and active. So make sure you put it into practice this week because God wants to speak to you through his word. Well, have a great week, guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye.